Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. Looks like it was a foggy, hazy day in Marquette today. Yeah, this morning early on, Becca, we kind of had still the humidity hanging around this morning, and it was kind of uncomfortable. Another uncomfortable sleeping night last night. Had some rain showers around as well, but as we moved into the afternoon hours here, we tried, try being the keyword, to get some sunshine in and I think we pulled that off about mid to late afternoon and then as we got into the late afternoon we had more clouds and then we got some rain showers in here around 9 10 o'clock and we've had some rain showers go through the Marquette area nothing out of control but some rain has moved on through and I think this is the last of the rain we should start to see some clearing as we go through the rest of the night as we look at our 906 weather watchers page Marion Bowers Taylor Nema she got the binoculars out or what did she she said she had got her camera out for this. She thought it was an eagle. That's why I got confused with the binoculars out because she had to look closer. She thinks it was a turkey buzzard there on the NEMA water tower there. And there's the uh, turkey buzzard, she says, hanging at the top of the water tower. Thanks, Marianne, for sending that in. And then as we look at some other photos today, Audrey Pentecost, our new meteorologist here at Local 3, sent some clouds and rain showers over Lake Superior here. And you can see those clouds and the rain showers off in the distance. Thanks, Audrey, for sending that in. You'll be seeing more of her in the next couple of weeks here during WJMN Local 3 News. Joe Neuenbauer, I love summertime flowers here. And we got the hydrangea the lilies I I'm tongue tied here with that hydrangeas one. hydrangeas mm -hmm. and they are just beautiful flowers here I just love the lilies here the lavender look mm -hmm. here just beautiful summertime flowers there thanks Joe for sending that in and then as we look at some other photos here Marion Bowers Taylor she said the weather today kind of like Marquette sun clouds rain sun clouds rain yeah pretty much mm -hmm. it today here in Marquette as well she said it was 74 at the moment and then Alex Coton Marquette he said one heck of a sunrise before the the weather moved on in and our you know it was kind of the same deal with the time lapse there kind of woke up early this morning before the sunrise here and we kind of had the clouds but he caught this here in and around the Marquette area here but just a beautiful sunrise there thanks Alex for sending that and if you'd like to join our 906 weather watchers page feel free to head on over to Facebook feel free to join as well Buck and I would love to show off your photos during WJMN Local 3 News. All right, let's switch it on over to our Max computer and let's take a look at our Local 3 radar network. Got a couple of rain showers here moving across the interior west and then in and around the Munising area. Take a couple of closer looks here. You can see some rain showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder from Hematite to Amasaw over towards Iron River. And then as we move you over into Alger County here, you can see some rain showers just to the east of Marquette here. And then we also have some steadier rain in between Munising over towards Shingleton, headed towards Hiawatha, and then eventually Manistique. As we widen out the view here, I do want to show you that we do have some clearing back on off towards the west. You can see some clearing actually towards Ironwood, and this clearing is slowly going to be moving from west to east here as we go through the rest of the night. Temperatures outside range from 68 at Sawyer International, 70 Escanaba, 65 for Houghton, and we got 64 Ironwood. As we look at the dew points, they're still kind of on the humid side. Side, but at least we got a good breeze tonight, kind of moving the air around, taking off the edge on the humidity. Officially at the Weather Service today, 77 was today's high, 61 was today's low, 74 and 59 the numbers today, downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, and that 74 was early on this morning. Record highs for the state, 94 set back in 2011, and 39, the record low temperature for the state in the chilly summer of 1992. Three things to know here, we'll have some rain showers starting to wrap on up here over the next couple of hours then we'll start to get some clearing late in the night from west to east sunshine on Thursday but it does come with wind low temperatures for the early morning hours on Thursday across the UP will be in the 50s and 60s albeit on the warmer side for Thursday and also Friday our next chance of rain showers and thunderstorms start Friday night and continuing on into Saturday so there goes the rain showers and the last of the Rain showers and thunderstorms moving on off towards the east. Tomorrow we got sunshine, but we got those gusty winds. Here comes our next chance of rain showers and thunderstorms. So as we go into Friday night and also as we move into the daytime on Saturday. Marquette's extended forecast around 80 for a high temperature for Thursday, 84 for Friday, and then 83 on Saturday. Rain shower and thunderstorm chances Friday.
cloudy night on into Saturday, and then it could turn cooler as we go into Sunday with a high temperature of 71, and then we got 70s to around 80 as we go into next week. As we take a look at Escanaba and Gladstone, we're looking at 83 for your Thursday with some gusty winds, 83 for Friday, and then 80 on Saturday. Rain and thunderstorm chances Friday night on into Saturday. Clouds and sunshine for Sunday, 75, and then upper 70s for the early part of next week. Weather anytime, head to our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com or on Facebook as well at 